If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. Moving forward, we learn different parameters of op amp as voltage gain, input impedance, output impedance, input offset voltage, input offset current, input bias current, and bandwidth. Let's start with the voltage gain. It is defined as the ratio of output voltage to input voltage. The second term is an input impedance. The resistance offered by the input terminals of an op amp is called as an input impedance. The voltage drop at the input of an op amp must be very high. Hence, the input impedance of an op amp is always very high due to equation V equals I into R. The third term is an output impedance. The resistance offered by the output of an op amp is called as an output impedance. Generally, an output device like a speaker is connected next to an op amp. Hence, it is necessary that all the output of an op amp must be passed to the next device. In other words, the voltage drop at output must be zero. Hence, output impedance must be as low as possible. The fourth term that we learn is an input offset voltage. When input to an op amp is zero, the output should be zero ideally. But if it's not zero, we need to apply some DC voltage at the input terminal to force the output voltage to be zero. This applied voltage is called as an input offset voltage. The next term we study is an input offset current. The difference between the currents into the two input terminals when the output is held at zero is called as an input offset current. The sixth term is an input bias current. The average of the currents into the two input terminals with the output at zero volts is called as an input bias current. The last term is a bandwidth. The range of frequencies for which an op amp can be used is called as a bandwidth of an op amp. When we differentiate the ideal op amp with the practical op amp, we find some change in the parameter values, which is represented by the following table. If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications.